One day, there was a little boy playing with his dog. The two were looking for some treasure in the backyard. All of a sudden, the boy's tummy started talking. Hey, bud, I'm starving, end quote. The boy thinking heavily on what he snacked on before supper. The dog said, rough. The boy was enlightened and said, that's a good idea, pupper. Cookies do sound good, but we can't eat sweets before dinner, end quote. They both started staring at each other. And Sonny just nod and agreed to proceed with Operation Cookie Munch Munch. The boy and the dog snuck into the three entryway kitchen like ninjas, trying to steal an important letter for the Japanese Empire. While the dog is looking out, the boy found the cookie jar and proceeded to take enough cookies for him and Ninja Ruff Ruff. Without the boy knowing, the all-knowing father walks in into the kitchen and started staring at his mischievous son with a blank face. The doggo started whimpering, and the boy with the cookie in his mouth quickly turned and locked eyes with his father. The bowl staring at each other with a lightning beam clashing between them. But, of course, the boy just cracked and just dashed towards his room, thinking that his father won't be able to find him. While Papa just standing there, <laughs> confused, scratching his head, thinking to himself, where is he going? I know where he sleeps. I own this house. I have the keys to every room in this building. What? Well, if you really look at it, as to the sun, that's how we are sometimes. Well, most of the times. Or even sometimes, well, all the times. <laughs> Trigger warning, you're watching so much more devotional. Hello world, how's everybody doing today? I hope you guys are doing well. Well, anyways, let's get straight to it. Hebrews chapter four, verse 13, it says here, neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight, but all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him with whom we have to do. Well, to break it down real simple and quick, God is all knowing and all powerful. Yeah, just plain and simple. He's all knowing and all powerful. <laughs> Um, no, but really and truly, let's, um, let's talk about a few steps real quickly, breaking it down um, for us not to be like the son in that story and um, be better sons, better children towards God. So let's get straight to it. Number one, God is almighty and all powerful. That's right. We just need to understand that. Well, that's one of the things we need to understand is God is almighty and all powerful. Um, as to the story, Papa, he owns the house. He knows the cracks and crevices of his own building. Not only that, he has the keys to every single room in that building because he owns it. Now to God, God owns this entire earth. He has the keys to every biome. He has the keys to every country. He knows everything. He even knows the number of the, uh, of how many hair you have on your head. Now if you're bald, that's kind of easy. <laughs> Okay. Um, well, it's the reality. <laughs> but as for me, of course, I have a full set of hairs. So that's if you ask me. That's pretty, pretty powerful. That's a, that's a lot of knowledge. <laughs> Number two. Number two, plain, simple. Just have a good relationship with your heavenly Father. That's right. Just have a good relationship with your heavenly Father. As to your other relationships, you're hanging out with somebody that you care, somebody who you actually love probably and you don't you do not want to mess that up if you have that relationship with god you do not want to mess that up you want to be pleasing towards him you want to be able to say hey dad look at me and he will be like yeah good job son or probably when you meet him face to face in heaven you want to say well done thy good and faithful servant let us have a good relationship with him and if we develop that relationship it will help us not to sin towards him number three if we mess up, let's just get right. Yeah, let's just get right. It's kind of, um, well, 
you just look at teenagers, you can act, it's actually all over the place with teenagers. <laughs> um, if somebody has a bad relationship with somebody, they just cut it off. They don't want to talk. They don't want to text. They don't want to see each other on Instagram, Facebook, or no, they don't do Facebook, Snapchat, or TikTok, or whatnot. People just don't want to look at each other when they mess up. And that's, if you ask me, that's sad. If you have a good relationship going on or something that is blooming and something that you actually enjoy, just get it right. Yeah, just get it right. Just get right with God. If something you did wrong towards God, just get right with them. And we just need to learn to be humble. That's the key thing. Just We just need to learn to be humble. And just accept what we did. Just, you know, swallow it up. And just go up to him and say, Hey, Dad, I'm sorry. Oh, my Heavenly Father, I'm sorry. And we need to learn to be humble and accept that we did wrong and say sorry. And the next step, of course, after that one, is just repent. <laughs> but really, truly, just be understanding that you were in the wrong and go up to God and say, I'm sorry. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoy yourself. Now remember, I am sometimes 100% correct, so please join us next time in the So Much to More devotional. If you like the video, please hit the like button, the subscription button, and the notification bell. And if you didn't like it, uh, sad to say, um, just do the same thing. Hit the like button, hit the subscription button, and the notification bell. <laughs> no, but really and truly, thank you very much for joining us, and you guys have a good one. Thank you very much.